Thank you. So, <clears throat> I am Sylvain. I am part of the Savannah Hackers Group, and I'm going to talk to you about Savannah. So, what is it? If you already saw this website, then you have already been to, the, um, to one of the projects that is hosted on our platform. Savannah is essentially like other hosting platforms such as SourceForge or uh, Debian Elliot or Launchpad. It is uh, sponsored by the new project. We have um, 3,200 3, um, projects and around uh, um, more than 40,000 users. What do we provide? We provide tools for you to work efficiently on your project in your team. So we provide VCSEs such as CVS, SVN, Git, Markerial, Bazaar. We provide bug trackers so users can report bugs to your project. Uh, we have uh, an upload area for you to put files, which is mirrored worldwide. Uh, we also have mailing lists and web pages, static web pages, which are those are on another infrastructure. So I'm not going to uh, present them in details. We have jobs, that means uh, you want to look for a developer for your project, and uh, you can say I'm looking for a C developer or for a technical writer. You have an interface to post the jobs and people can browse the jobs and check what projects they want to contribute to. And all of this is free adver advertising. On other hosting platform which use advertising, we can see that uh, when you look at your project, you can see advertising for proprietary competitors. So we don't run ads on the server. A brief history. So it all started in 2001. Well, uh, we decided to take the existing service infrastructure and put it more structured. And we used uh, the SourceForge source code. SourceForge is a website which is also, it was also a source code, uh, a piece of software that you could install on your own computer to make your own SourceForge. So we used that and installed it in the, at Savannah because it was a good methodology to be efficient when you work in team. And sadly, it uh, quickly became proprietary. Uh, so we decided to run our own fork of this code. And we've been maintaining it uh, ever, ever since. In 2002, we opened the platform for non-GNU projects. Previously, it was only for GNU projects. And now everybody can contribute to the project, uh, host the project uh, on the platform uh, if they meet a few requirements. In 2004, we decided to make things more clearer. Uh, the code was called Savannah and the website was called Savannah also, so we decided to call the code Savan to make things clearer. And then I don't have the dates, but we, since then we've added more support for more VCSs. I mentioned Git, Bazaar. Uh, we have cleaned up the system level with a lot of virtualization, first with uh, vServer and with uh, Xen. We've introduced mirrors, and our latest test um, work is rewriting the code. I will uh, mention it later. So. What is different in our platform? First, we are, we are showing that we can make a free hosting platform using only 100% free software. We don't use any non-free software. We don't have any need to. We use, in, in particular, all package from, from Debian. On. All the code that we code, including Savan, uh, is under the AGPL license. The AGPL license is a GPL for web applications. If you make a GPL web application and somebody takes it, makes changes, and put it on a website, he does not have to give you back the changes. With the AGPL, he has to provide you the changes. So you have to contribute back to the community. I recommend AGPL for your web-based applications. And also, we want to promote based licensing practices. Uh, when a project is submitted to our platform, we review it for legal issues. Um, Ever since the SEO attack on the Linux kernel, we know that we have to be perfectly clean on licensing. And so we have to warn people, we want to educate them about what dangers uh, they might encounter and what they should do. A bit of one, um, this is recent. Apparently, um, so SourceForge and Google Code uh, are now blocking countries based on the origin of the visitors. So our API to countries databases, and they decided to block completely users from viewing or contributing to the platform. So uh, this is a problem. Uh, some people are moving to our uh, hosting platform because of this. So currently, I don't have an official position, but 
uh, because this is very recent, but we do not intend to apply such, uh, such blocks. And if there is a problem, if the US government, because the server is located at Boston, if the US government uh, forces us to make such, uh, such blocks, we have a backup hosting plan in France that we might migrate to, but hopefully not. So now let's talk a bit about the technical details. So first, uh, is this not exactly this hardware? I, I found the perfect picture later. Uh, so we recently moved to another hardware. Um, it is donated by the Free Software Foundation. It is quite a good computer. Uh, we hadn't changed it for five or six years, so it is relieving. <coughs> uh, the hardware is donated to FSF, uh, and it is hosted at the Global Nobs, which is donated, uh, which is donating the collocation, that is the space to physically place the server, and the bandwidth. So we have good hosting condition, and now we can implement more services easily. Um, yes, we recently switched to Xen because the FSF infrastructure is also using Xen, which means that if this particular uh, box is crashing, then we might easily migrate to other hardware easily enough. I have to mention GNA also. This is another installation of the Savant software, which is located in France. So again, everything is stored on a single box, and it is easily hosting uh, 1,300 projects. So you do not, ev you do not have to have uh, a lot of expensive hardware to run your own forge. It is very efficient. So let's have a look at the architecture. So, so Savan is a central component. It is essentially the glue that makes everything together. Uh, people use the web interface. This changes the database at this level. And then there is uh, a lot of system level scripts that replicate the database to all the services that we provide. The BCSs, uh, the, the mailing list, the websites, etc. <clears throat> so we have two distinct parts. Above the front end, which is the web interface, and the system back end, which is the system uh, all the system stuff. Now we're going to say uh, what um, we are going to make changes. We are making changes to both of those. So I'm going to introduce what we are working on right now. So first, the front end. Um, we, I said we forked uh, the sort for original code, which is uh, like 10 years old. It wasn't really so great. It didn't use a uh, model view controller models. Uh, so we try to clean it up, but we face the fact that this is not enough. And we also saw that there are a lot of new web frameworks that allow to program efficiently. And we consider that we might uh, more easily rewrite all the, the web front end using far less code, rather than try to clean up the existing code. And so that's what we are working right now. Uh, we also wanted to use something else on PHP, because PHP wasn't so satisfying as a programming language and had a few legal issues, because since the PHP license is not compatible with the GPL license, you might have problems with PHP extensions. Don't use the PHP license. Uh, so we tried to find a good web framework and a good programming language, and essentially we choose uh, Python and Django. Um, Python might not be the greatest language, but it's, uh, it is a good compromise. And Django has uh, a lot of advantages. In particular, it is very well documented so that newcomers might quickly learn how it works. And it is also not so complicated. So again, somebody who wants to contribute does not need uh, months of experience. He can learn the basic of Django in a, in a couple of weeks. There are some limitations because um, uh, it is not really meant for reusable applications. So we had to, to choose a few naming conventions, do some tests, but uh, I think we did it right now. At the same time, we tried to clean up the backhand, uh, so the system level. Previously, we had a huge cron job uh, that was supposed to take the database and merge it with the system, trying to preserve the system changes. 
and it was uh, not very maintainable. And we decided to use NSS. NSS is a name server switch, which is a standard Unix way to access your users. You can put your users either in a slash etc slash password or slash this slash group. And with NSS, you can put it in an LDAP directory, and you can also put it in a SQL database. And that's exactly what we did. So now, each time we make a change using the web front end to the, to the database, it is immediately replicated to the system. So there is no replication, it is directly available. Um, it greatly simplifies the code because all of the complexity is delegated to NSS. Um, uh, or cron jobs, we still have cron jobs. For example, uh, we have a cron job that is used to replicate all the SSH keys to the system. And those cron jobs are really simpler to write. Okay. Um, this is a time feeling slide. I'm going to talk about it later. So, what I wanted to say is that we are greatly looking for contributors. In particular, we are looking for moderators. That is, we want people to review the projects and verify the, um, the licensing good practices uh, so, that we can, uh, <coughs> so that we can approve projects more quickly. We are also looking for web designers because we think that um, our design is a bit oldish now and we would really, we would really like to, to make it more attractive. We're also looking for coders, this I explained, for programming the new web front-end, adding new features. And we're also looking for system administrators, because each time we add a new feature, it's like we add a new VCS, it requires experiences, skills, and it also requires time to deal with users, report, uh, request, upgrade the system, make sure it is uh, good at the security level, and make it evolve. So currently, we would like to introduce more services, and we would like more system administrators to, to implement these changes. So what are the challenges if we want to contribute? First, we have eight years of history, so we have to make sure that all the history is kept clean. It is quite easy to make a new service from scratch without any data. Here, you have to to respect all the data that is existing and maybe migrate it to something more clean. Also, this is a web service, which means there can only be one version at once. You cannot fork the, the, the service and put it on, uh, on your computer because you want it to be available for everybody. You can't uh, just copy-paste the hardware, you can't copy-paste the bandwidth. So we have to, you only have one website, and only one can work at once. So we have to first please everybody. And then we, when we make a change, we have to make sure that it is perfectly clean before putting it, putting it in the public. We cannot really make release candidates. So we have to have a good testing environment. Also, um, I said that we had eight years of uh, data. We, we have to think about the future. In eight years, we will also have to maintain this data. So we, we cannot uh, just uh, go to the fashion service and implement it if we know that we might have trouble to maintain it in the long run. We have to think about it. At the security level, we decided to restrict shell access. If there is a vulnerability in the kernel, people won't be able to exploit it because they are using a restricted shell. We will, of course, try to patch the security issues as soon as possible, but at least the window, the vulnerable window won't be as critical. So this has a certain number of impacts. Uh, in particular, people can do things on their own. This needs to be implemented. We need to have cron jobs for everything that people need to do. And it needs to be scalable. It is easy to make a service for 10 projects, but when it comes to three, 300 projects, 3,000 projects, uh, then we can't manually fix things. So we have to make sure that everything works. Usually what we do is we implement it as beta for a few selected projects, and when it is fine, we implement it for all the platforms. And thank you. Do you have any questions? <laughs>